This is a cemetery we've passed by several times but never stopped and uh, just as we've pulled up some uh, interesting things already started happening. The vibe here we find we, we've sort of felt is pretty yuck actually. Uh, Bethany was just saying that as soon as we pulled up here the clasp on one of the bracelets just broke and that's never broken before. Uh, so yeah really interesting energy here a little bit yuck gonna have a quick prowl around it is raining which is always fun have a bit of a check out and Bethany's just getting herself together a little bit cold and wet so we'll have to forgive the shakes a little bit we're on a main road too this is on the main road to Darlesford Bethany's still trying to fix up the clasp on the bracelet. Papa doesn't want me to wear it. It's, um, it's a very protective one. It's got the blue uh, obsidian on it. Blue obsidian and... and she's dropping everything. <laughs> <Sorry>. <laughs> What's it got? Blue obsidian and... Yeah, it's blue obsidian and, and um, glass beads in it. Okay, yep. Cool. All right. So, a little bit wet, so I hope we get a little bit of less rain. Some mushies in the field over here. Just going to close the gate so that whatever is yucky in here, that's okay. Can bloody well stay in here. Let's check out what's going on. Just a little bit of a wander through. There's an interesting one over there I want to have a look at shortly. Energy energy's all crap here. A lot of new graves so. Yeah, there's a lot of new graves so we'll just yeah, sort of try and steer clear of them a little bit. That one out. Which one? <laughs> oh yeah, that's well, look at that. Yeah. This that's cool. That's cool. We don't normally check out the newer graves, but this one is cool. I like that. I think that's about the brightest bit of fresh air we've got in the cemetery. See a statue over there, Dale? Yeah, I saw that. Let's go and have a bit of a look. We'll head over that way. There's a nice little statue on one of the graves. Looks like a newer grave, but that's okay. It's a, it's a very small cemetery. Um, the feeling is just not good. A couple of unmarked graves here. You can see by the lay here. That's an interesting one. Oh, it's 1879 to 18... what? 1839 to 1873 erected by her descendants with gratitude so that's Catherine Markey so that's an old one here that's a very <laughs> old one too the energy coming out of that the ground it makes the ground really yeah it's 
the energy here is garbage. Do you reckon it's a crypt? Yeah. Definitely sort of thinking it's a crypt of some sort. Just want to come over here. We just pulled by this. Just careful not to walk on top of some graves here. Just pulled by this one here. Just because I think the um, statue looks awesome. It's a new grave too, so we're not going to go into that one. We tend to not try to go into the. It's unmarked. Yeah, um, geez, there are. Yeah, you yeah, can feel it. Yeah. You can actually feel it and sense where there are uh, unmarked graves. Even in this area around here, this grassy bit. You can just feel it. It's the vibe here is there's one right down the back there. There is. Right? There's something right up the very back here. I'm just gonna have a quick look. I don't know whoops, oh, I've got the shakes on. That doesn't feel good either. No, that some angry Aboriginal energy here too I'm feeling. Well, I'm not going to walk through there because God knows what's in there, but there's something there. It's funny, you come behind the church and that that feeling we got when we pulled up is actually coming from this end of the cemetery. Yeah. It's not the new end. It's not all the new graves. It's the old, it's as you walk back. It is. <laughs> we'll wander up this way a little bit. Mark range of it's very rare that I feel shaky in the cemetery because uh, nothing really really worries me but the uh, I think it's just the energy it's not the fact of spirit it's that's causing anything it's um it's just the fact of the energy it's just kind of like hitcher you. it's really weird it's just not a it's like anxiety anxiety type of energy so god knows what was happening in this area of the world oh there is too there's a little little stone there Let's have a quick look at some of these. Thomas Prendergast oh. died 1880. There's a couple of interesting graves though. That, that clearing, can you see that vortex? What's that? There's a vortex in that clearing between all those graves. Yeah. Right. Can you feel that? Yeah, you can feel. That's what it is. That's what it's pushing energy right through there. Okay. Ooh. I'm just going to have a quick look over this one. Got a K2 as well. So if there's any spirit here who want to communicate with us, feel free to do so. I'm sorry about my shaky hands, it's just the energy here. I'm usually not this shaky at all. It's just there's one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Just in this area here, there's fifteen unmarked graves. Um, I think we'll walk around this way, Doug. We won't walk. Fifteen, sixteen, 
17 over here. It's a lot of very lost, very angry. It is, it's a lost a and angry energy. Really it really is. It sort of feels like lost and angry energy. I wonder if some of this was Aboriginal. Whoa, oh, massive spikes. Massive spikes. As soon as I said Aboriginal. Did you see the mist that went across in front Look of you? Look at that. Hello. Would you like to come and light it up again? Let me know that you're here. There was a mist that just ran past us. There we go. Oh, thank you. Hello. How are you? Can you tell me, can you light it up again if you're a male? Can you light it up if you're a female? They've stepped back. Can you light it up if you're a child? I'm really interested in chatting with you. Could you light it up for us again? Are we okay to move towards this area over here? Can you light it up if we can move towards this area over here? I'd go that way, John. I think I'll go around this way. There's a mark right on the left. Oh, this is a mark right for you too. Oh. We'll just try to be careful where we walk. Is it okay for us to walk over this way? Can light it up and let us know. There's one there. Yep, we've got an unmarked road right here. Oh, there's one there. Can you light it up if there's some sort of a vortex type of energy here in this cemetery? Shimmering. Can you light it up again if you lived in the area? Seem to have settled a little bit. And these are some of the older graves back into the 1800s. That was a really, really good spike we got there. So if you're still around, I'd like to send love and blessings to all here. I think we counted about 15 different unmarked graves. There's nothing except a rise in the ground. Yep. Oh, hello. You're back again. I'm just sending some love and blessings to anyone who's been forgotten here. Now, just around here, I'm getting a lot of spikes. Okay, we stopped again. I'm just, yeah, I was just saying that, um, thank you for lighting it up for me. Are you a male? Are you a female? Can you light it up for me? Are you buried in one of these unmarked graves? I can feel your energy around and it's not negative. Your energy feels fine to me. It, it actually feels like it's a little bit calmer. Mm. You should see the sky. The sky. Mm. The clouds are very, very low. Heaven's like got this ability to see all sorts of different things. It's like little, it's like glitter. 
and the energy is like dancing and it's glitter and there you can actually see the spirit they're like in it's like an orb yeah and it's all fl there's like so many that one just i can't help but look look there's one over here they're like you know how you see flavors in your Oh yeah, like you see floaters, you yeah. see those sparkly things, yeah. Yeah, well, it's literally the whole sky. Yeah. It's like glitter. Unfortunately, my dirty glasses don't help me in seeing that. But... And it's like there are little orbs, you can actually see orbs and faces floating around. This must be where the, um, the vortex is, you can actually see orbs and faces. Yeah. I probably look like a complete crazy person right now. That's okay. But it's, it's here. But it's not here. It's here where you where we're standing. Yeah. But I can't see it over there. No, it's not over there. You don't no. feel it. No, you feel it here. right here. You feel the vortex energy. I just move back here. The um, it, this is right in the middle of the vortex, and there's all these. It's it's cold. Like just standing here, you feel like you're a little bit giddy. You feel like your your body's swirling, you your head swirling. You can see people. Like I don't normally see in real time. I normally see in my third eye, but you can actually see people, like faces. They're all over the place. And it's like there's a lot of lost souls here. Yeah, they're like it's like orbs. And, and you I can... think that's probably what the the mix of energy is. But it's not over there. It's here. No, it's here. Yeah. Sorry, I probably We'll just move person. towards the building a little bit and just yeah. see what we can we'll feel over there. We'll go that way. Yeah, this is um <clears throat> the energy seems to be sort of like settling and I think it's because they're recognizing that we are oh they're they're understanding that we're recognizing them. Hang on, I've got to work out where to walk. I'm yeah. trying to tell me where to walk but I don't know. Yeah, um, I'm walking right through here because there's a unmarked grave here, unmarked grave here. So I'm just going to walk with a little bit of respect and try not to walk over the top of Bridget's actually some of the unmarked the miles, graves. Like the there's a couple of interesting crosses over there near the building, and it could be like. Um, crosses from religious nuns or something like that but you don't get it big... here there's still a little bit but it's over there yeah sorry i'm distracted by what i'm no, seeing it's okay. pretty light yep. so if there's anyone that person was around can you come forward again and light up the meter just to show us that you're here i do feel you around it's oh yes a big change here big change in temperature massive cold burst just in this spot it is cold well it's cool but there's just a massive burst of cold in this area here so but they're calling me over here, it's weird. I don't normally walk on no, don't walk on that. No, it doesn't feel... It's a crypt, no. it's a gigantic crypt. Okay. Oh. Well, it could be... Gee, there's what? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight, possibly more buried in this spot here. 81, 41, 85, 14, 28, 26, 85 and 88. This is huge. This is huge. Which one? This that big one? one? Yeah. yeah. We'll just walk around the front of that. A lot of it here is overgrown. Um, and we, we are right out of, in the country, so it's, it's quite normal for people to We've got a couple here too, one, two, three. Unmarked graves again. Just want to walk around here. Let's have a quick look at this one. Let's see what this one's about.
Alright, here we go. John Egan from Tipperary in Ireland. That's quite a. Uh, just trying to hold this straight. It is cold, so I'm shaking a little bit. Is, um, yep. This one's actually got a little picture of the. Oh, this is an old time picture of the guy. Wow. This is a bit. Oh, special. Chapel and Catholic Cemetery. This chapel was built in 1865 to 1867 and is a rare example of the modest buildings built, built for the church and school used into the Victorian goldfields. It is important for its association with pioneer gold seekers John Egan. Here we go. Oh, what doesn't feel good. No, it's not great, is it? Up up here, not those. You try that one over there. Oh, wow. That big, that big yeah. one there. Yeah, there's a couple of big ones here. They're obviously Irish because they've got the half on it. Yep. Just wanted to have a look at these crosses here because they sort of intrigued me from behind. No, uh, nobody's happy here. This is the whole thing. This is a cemetery where no one is happy. Uh, here we go. This is the memory of a reverend mother. There's a few of them. Presentation. So this is belonging to Mother Superiors. Yeah, the energy here is not good. I don't think we'll do a rod session because we don't want to sort of try to attract. Yeah, I'll do a rod session. They keep pulling on the rods. Do they? Yeah, I've got them hanging off the skirt. Do you want to do a rod session? There's a Swiss Army skirt. Hang all sorts of things of it. Swiss Army skirt. She says she's got a Swiss Army skirt. Can hang all sorts of things off it. it. <laughs> got a rods hanging off it. <laughs> hey, you got to bring your rods. Just hang them off your skirt. Oh. <laughs> that, uh, that I, yeah, I yeah. don't like the energy here, though. No, I neither do I. I just don't like it. Bibi keeps shuffling. She keeps she's yeah. restless. Yeah, I, I can't hold this camera straight. I really can't. The energy, it's it's weighing down on my hands, on my arms. Yeah. It's just not nice at all. I'm just going to turn the camera off a bit and have a bit of a shakedown because the energy here is just garbage. My, my vision started to. Do you want to say that again? <laughs> no, go on, say it again. As I was standing over where the vortex was, I had I nearly went into a seizure. I had a, when I go into a seizure, I have an aura where the background, the middle ground, and the foreground separate, and it's a warning signal. And that's what was happening over there, which is why I moved. And that's when I, I can still see the stuff. It's not my, it's the energy that's triggering. Bethany was saying she was pulled to do a rod session, but. I don't, I, feel comfortable. I, don't, I don't know. She doesn't feel comfortable it. doing it, and I actually don't feel comfortable doing a rod session in the cemetery either. I don't know. I don't know the um, motive of the rod session. Yeah, it's I've it just something. doesn't feel right. So it's just gonna run up oh, the K two again, just as a walking towards the car. Look on her face. Mm. She's not happy. Okay. She's not happy. No, she's not. <laughs> no. Someone just pulled up. Yeah. I don't know why. That's... 
It's interesting in the fact that the energy here is stuffed. It's, it doesn't get, it gets easier as you get away from that side. It's, yeah. It's not as yeah. full on. And it's a little bit more relaxed at this end, but when you walk towards you get to the that end over there, it's not good at all. So I just want to quickly say um, the spirit that came forward before and really set this off, thanks very much for doing that for us. Um, there are power lines across the road, but you know, we're getting no reaction actions here, no reactions up the other end. You know, it's just a couple of massive spikes, so the spirit obviously walked past, and you could feel the cold, the, the drop in the temperature. And again, I'm starting to get the shakes again, and it's just no, nah, that's not me. Normally, not me. I have the need to put Oh, here we go, here we go, that's why I'm feeling cold again just set off again thank you very much for that and I'm That's really cool. feeling the cold I'm feeling the energy here and it is an energy shift it's not a negative spirit at all you're not negative at all but I think we'll come back on a bit of a warmer day people rocking up mass must be starting up. Well, we do have some people rocking up we've got a couple of people turning up so I think we'll just call it a day here we'll come back another time so the spirit that was here before that set this off thank you very much for setting it off for us much appreciated and we'll try to come back another time and hopefully feel a little bit more relaxed with coming here but the energy itself is just terrible I'm afraid to say all right cheers well that was really strange the lady that just rocked up Uh, that was really strange. There was a guy, an older guy, who came to the front of the cemetery and a lady who just come to the back of the cemetery where we were parked and they're both meeting in the middle. It was really strange and the lady walked past and I said, oh, it's a very wet day, isn't it? It's terrible. And she just looked at me and didn't really say much at all. And I thought, and at the moment, they're just standing in the cemetery. I need to get out of here, dog. They're not doing anything. We're going to make a move. We're getting yeah, out I of don't, here. I don't find it. Yeah, it just, yeah, no. It's really weird. No. Just really weird, the whole, whole My thing. My guides are telling us to get out All of right. here. Alright. Yep. Guides are saying get out of here, so uh -oh. we'll I'm, do that. I'm happy. And my bracelet fell off just as I, let, just as I got to the, the um, car again. And the brace, bracelet fell off again. What a strange energy the cemetery has. Yeah, I don't like it. Anyway, we don't like it. Yeah, I don't. I don't really just want to go. Cause... Anyway, we're gone. Okay, yeah. cheers guys. Now, Bibi, what are your thoughts? No answer is a very stern reply. No answer? She's not happy. Your facial expression is that of not impressed? Yes. Not amused. Well, there you go. Not amused. Not amused. God, she's getting dark. Her eyes are getting darker no, and darker. Jesus, I tell you what. I don't think she wants to go back. No, I don't think she does That's either. That's okay. You don't have to. I'll go on my own. What do you reckon? She thinks you should take someone with you because mm. you shouldn't paranormal by yourself. Well, there you go. But yeah, her mm. eyes are getting darker There's and darker. That's a very good truth. Anyway, definitely won't go back at night time on my own, but maybe well, no. during the day. All right, cheers. Just as a last footnote, um, we'd sort of collected a little spirit that came home with us. He took a uh, trip with us home from the cemetery. And um, his name was Peter. Yeah. We've already found out. Um, that little building that was there was actually used as a schoolhouse at one stage. And uh, he was telling us that his teacher treated him very badly 
and uh, he was very scared and I think that's probably why I had a lot of the shakes because it, it kind of did feel like somebody was trying to pull at my arms all the time and sort of just hang on to me and um, <clears throat> so we've got a little speed, uh, spirit here now in the house by the name of Peter and he's exploring the house, exploring some of our horns of dolls and we'll be working with him uh, shortly and uh, you'll probably see a little bit of that action in another video. Um, the cemetery there was just, just horrible. horrible. It was absolutely horrible. And the things that Peter has already told us were just incredible. Um, so we're going to be documenting that one in another video.